Hello everyone, today we will be creating a login box with a password validation. First of all write any username, let's say Upper Rose. And we have our criteria in our password that is we required at least 8 characters to log in successfully and if you haven't raised the criteria then it would say a login field as you can see. Click on to OK and add 2 or more than that characters in our password and you can see and unsee the password as well. Click on to login and here you can see our login successfully. And when you click on to OK, we'll join to our next new web page that says welcome to our login page and this is a new page after you logged in. Ok now what I want to say is that my viewers are not subscribing my channel. So please do like and subscribe my channel and support my channel. So without any further discussion, let's begin our video tutorial. Ok now here's a CSS and a JS link with our HTML file. Now go to your body part and create a div with a class of a form. And inside, create a S1 tag and write login here. Okay, now come down and create a P tag and write inside a username. And create an input tag. Name would be blank and placeholder. Name here. And down below for password, create a P tag inside password. And write an input. Type would be password. Name would be blank as well and a placeholder password here now we'll be adding a submit button for that create input type would be submit and remove the id and give a value of a login ok now open it in our browser ok here you can see our login form now we'll add one more thing that is checkbox create a input and type would be checkbox Okay. Okay, here's our checkbox as well. Now we'll design it using our CSS. Now we'll work on our body. First add a background with a linear gradient. I have RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5 0 0.4 50 percent. Okay. And now we'll add a URL of 2.jpg and a background position would be center background size would be cover and a height would be 100 vh okay here you can see our image okay now we'll work for our class form now add a width of a 250 pixel and add a height of a 330 pixel color would be white background would be linear gradient as well to top to top okay okay here you can see our login box okay now the position would be absolute and a top would be 50 percent left would be 50 percent as well and a transform translate would be minus 50 minus 50 percent okay so it would come into center here you can see okay now we'll add some padding that would be 40 pixel and a 25 pixel okay and also add some border radius of a 10 pixel okay it looks good now we'll work on to our firm h1 tag for that add a width of a 220 pixel text align would be center padding left would be 11 pixel and now font size would be 35 pixel color would be green okay it looks perfect now add some margin bottom of a 20 pixel okay Okay, it looks good now we'll work on our firm dot p tag that is for our username and a password padding bottom would be minus 15 pixel okay now work on our firm input add a width of 100 percent height would be 35 pixel and add a padding top of 5 pixel 
margin bottom 30 pixel okay now let's make it transparent for that add a background of transparent and add a border bottom of one pixel solid white border top would be none left also none and right also none okay and okay it looks good now we'll remove this outline and add a color or the add a color of white outline would be none and our font size would be 15 pixel letter spacing would be one pixel okay it looks perfect mm. okay okay now we'll work for our login button that is submit button for that dark firm input type of submit okay add a width of a 60% margin left would be 50 pixel and add a border that would be none outline also none and add a height of a 40 pixel and a color would be black and with a background white okay it looks good I will add a font size of a 16 pixel and a font weight would be bold and a border radius would be 15 pixel okay okay now we'll add a hover effect in our login button or that just copy it and add a semicolon hover and add a cursor pointer and a background would be green as well and a color would be white and a font weight would be bold okay now we have finished our CSS as well now we'll work for our JS after this because uh, you can see that our scene unseen button and our login button doesn't work right now so for that go to the index.html file and give an ID on our password that would be pass and on our checkbox give on click function on click my fun my function okay now go to valid.js and for function my function var x equals to document dot get element by id that would be pass and if we have x the type is equals to the password then x type equals to text okay or else the x the type equals to password okay now it should work okay let's see on our login box the checkbox should work as a seen and unseen okay it worked properly now we'll be doing for our validate as well validation as well for our password okay now go to index.html again and then in a submit button click on click validate function and create a div inside a p tag and give an idea of a length okay now go to valid.js and write a function validate var password equals document dot get element by id pass and var length equals to document dot get element by id length okay now we'll be using if else condition as well so if password dot value value dot length is greater than equals to 8 then alert us that uh, login is successful return false and else 
alert us a login failed okay okay let's check okay uh, write anything you love you want okay it should show login successful because we have more than eight characters on our password and when we have less than eight characters it should show login failed okay here's our login failed now what we want is when we have more than eight characters we want to log in into a different page after this showing login successful so create a new html file let's say new page.html and write a simple html format say h1 with a welcome to our new page okay it should open this page this page while we click on to our login successful ok button now just add a window dot location dot replace just below the login successful ok and write a new page dot html give a url that means new page dot html and it should go to this page ok now let's check this write anything you want and password anything as well and you can check here and click on to login here you there it will show login successful and when you click on to ok button it should go to the new page.html file ok here's our welcome to our new page so we have completed our video tutorial and if you have any question regarding the video do write in a comment section below so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video bye bye